Okay, so this is the box? Uh, this is the box of the iFi Micro iPhone 02. Now I reviewed the iPhone 01, which is the original, which was an amazing product and still is for, for the money. And this one is better? You're saying they claim they claim it's better. Yes, the old can explain it. Explain to me why it's better. It has a lower noise floor. Right. It includes the iPower, which is our latest our, our latest um, linear power supply. That one's just over there. Um, it's able to, it's basically it's being designed 90% the way through. It's not just like an upgrade, it's a completely redesign of the whole thing. Lower noise floor, it's able to work with a lot more co um, uh, cartridges. And in general, it's a better machine than number one. And is this the same price or price has gone up? I think the price has increased by 25% or something like that in that ballpark. Yeah. Considering how yeah. reasonably priced it was before, that's not, that's not too much. <laughs> this is an interesting looking little, little rack here, I've never seen that. Right, with the eye rack here, it's basically we have a USB power supply down here. Right. Which, is, which cuts off the power supply from this, injects a clean power supply. Then into our DSD DAC, which is the iDAC 2. Right. Then goes into our tube stage, which is a tube buffer. Then into our headphone amplifier here. And now that's the, the, the mini desktop rig. Then over here we have the ICAN Pro, which is our flagship product. It's have, it has an IDSD Nano running into here, so it has a DAC and then it's the amp. The good thing about this is that it's an audiophile and um, preamplifier, and it's also a studio grade headphone amplifier. But it also runs tube stage and it also runs solid state. But the beauty about this, you are able to select between them both. So you can select either um, solid state or tube stage on the fly just by this little button down here. So you just flick it and it'll change it and it's all true as well. So whereas you may see other machines that have a tube and solid state, what they do is basically switch off the tube and then it's all solid state. This one is like train tracks, so it switches the between them both. So there's no tube in between a solid state. So it's a true native. I see. And you can use this as a regular preamplifier to drive a, drive a power amplifier? Yeah. 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 What does that cost? Uh, this has cost about 1500 in that ballpark. Yeah. Euros. Uh, 1,500 uh, pounds, euros, oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay, and th that iRack, that's pretty cool. What, is it, what does that cost? For the full kit, including the iRack and the uh, cables and the USB cables, you're looking at about 1,200 as well. For all, with all the boxes For too? The whole, yeah. 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 And can you mistakenly invade this iRack? Um, it's like Lego. Just kidding. <laughs> it's like Lego, so yeah, build them. Build I made them a box. joke about no, no, invading no, the wrong. Okay, okay. I made I made a political joke. Okay, and uh, my my conservative viewers will be will upset, be upset with me, but too bad. Live with it. This is the underside of. Now, what they've done here that's really good is you can actually read this one. The other one, it's very hard to read what's yeah. going on. But this is much easier. There's a lot of little dip switches here to reach, but it's incredibly. Versatile. I mean, you can do so many different things with this in terms of loading and gain and various uh, different equalizations, which you don't want to use for the most part because everything was RAAA once the stereo era started, no matter what anyone tells you. Okay, that's the iPhone 02, and I hope to get one to review soon.